Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Hola, hola, hola. Hola, se le escucha lejos, teacher. Hola, hola. Hola, ¿ahora? ¿Ahora? Mejor. ¿Better? Yes, better. Ok, thank you. Welcome to all of you. It is a pleasure to be here. And all set in order to start now. Just let me know how do you feel today. And we are going to start in some minutes. Good evening, teacher. No se escucha nada. My goodness, my microphone is not working. Okay, what about now? Can you hear me very well? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. I can see. Okay. Good evening, teacher. What I was telling you is that uh, what we are going to do today is uh, that we are going to take a look at the new topic, but at the same time, we are going to resolve, I guess, two exercises that. I told you that we'll do it today. And later on, we are going to continue with the new topic. Okay? Let me see how many listeners do we have now. I got two, three. One, two, three. Only three? No, Edwin is. I got four listeners. I got more than four, I guess. <clears throat> okay. Hold on a second, please.
Okay, let me show you uh, the topic. Hold in second place. Let me do something here. Okay, here we go. My goodness. I need to something here because it doesn't say my change. Okay, this is the topic for today, simple present information questions. But before uh, to talk about the new topic, I would like to make a review about the previous one. And also I'm going to check up the attendance. So let us start talking about the previous one. What can you tell me? What do you remember about? <clears throat> Hello? Can you hear me? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, just let, let me get uh, the attendance. Okay, I got it here. This is the topic, simple present information question. So um, let me check out for the attendance and later on we are going to talk about the previous topic. America, Elizabeth, are you there? America. America. No, here. Cecilia Maribel. Good evening, in present teacher. Okay, welcome. Edwin Alexis. Edwin Alexis. Say hello if you are there, please. Edwin Alfredo. Good evening, teacher present and listening. Okay, as a listener. Esmeralda del Rosario. Present teacher. Okay, um, Gabriela Jamilet. Present teacher. Okay, Gisela Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Hector Enrique. Present teacher. Ingrid Geraldina. Ingrid Geraldina. Jonathan Steinley. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. 
eh, José Ernesto Alemán. No here. Eh, Catherine Paola. Good evening, teacher. I present. Okay, good evening. Eh, Natalie. Present teacher. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present teacher. Mercedes Alejandra. Present teacher. Roxana Elizabeth. Roxana Elizabeth. Sara Alejandra. Sergio Adolfo. Presente, chair. Ok. Yesenia Lisset. Teacher. Hello, Roxana. No me I, mencionó, teacher. I, I, didn't, I didn't mention your name. Okay, Roxana Alvarez is there. Okay. Yes, thank you. I, I was teacher. Gonna... Hello. Tampoco me mencionó. Carlos Amilcar. Sí. My goodness. Let me see. Teacher, me, me tardé en conectarme, pero aquí estoy presente. Okay, Ingrid, Ingrid. Teacher, no me mencionó. Janet. Sí, muy antes de Yesenia. Ok, permítame qué está pasando aquí. Janet del Carmen. Ah, ok, Janet del Carmen Campos. Oh, ok, don't forget that uh, at the beginning I explained you the way that you uh, confirm that you are there. At the moment that you listen your name, you have to say present. So in that way, we are going to, I, I know exactly when I, when I see you there. But at the moment, our system uh, is checking the ones that are present. So for that reason, you need to say, hello, I'm here, and so on, okay? Por ahí les había comentado que El nuevo sistema es simple hoy, es solamente ustedes dicen present y eh, ya nosotros no escribimos la asistencia, sino que lo hace el sistema automáticamente. Ok, let us continue then. I ask you something related with the previous class. Yo pregunté algo sobre la clase del día de ayer. In order that uh, recap what we studied. In order to be sure that all of you remember what we studied yesterday. So, I would like to hear at least two or three different students in order to remember what we talked about yesterday. Who wants to do it? Anybody want to talk about the previous topic? No? Yesterday, teacher, we talked about this business, business vocabulary. Okay. And also we talk about the... Okay, okay. Continue, continue. And we know new work. In my case, in my case, I knew. I know 
new word. I learn. I learn new word. Okay. Okay, perfect. Someone else? Y alguien más? Que nos diga. Hola. We had a conversation about the headquarters and branches. Ah, okay, perfect. We talk about that too. What else? Que más? Uh, we learned um, uh, about products and service. Ah, okay, that is important too. Okay, and could somebody tell me if I uh, learned new term yesterday? Yes, teacher. Uh, headquarters. Headquarters. Okay. Okay. What, what else? That's it? Okay. Let us start talking about the new topic today. I'm going to show you this question. And I need that all of you participate. We are going to follow the the same way that we have yesterday because uh it it looked like it's where. Okay, and the third question said, do you usually receive business guests in your workplace? And the second one, do you enjoy welcoming guests and why? Okay, just let me know if you got uh, the, the, the message about the five questions. And based on that, we are going to continue talking. I'm going to give you at least two or three minutes in order that you can give me an answer related with the five question. Then later on with the second one. Do you usually receive business guests in your workplace? Tell me. Tell me, please. Hello. Uh, in my department, uh, I don't receive uh, any business guests. Okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Teacher, in my case, I receive a lot of guests um, all day. Oh, okay. Nice. Teacher, in my case, I receive a business guest. Business guest. Okay, business guest. Okay. As I told you in the previous classes, as soon as somebody uh, finish, you, somebody else uh, can continue. I don't need to be asking all the time, someone else, someone else, no, no, no. As soon as somebody finish, you can continue. Okay, go ahead. In my case, it's for my voice, my voice, my boss, my boss. <laughs> okay. I received 
business bus, business quest of my boys in my workplace. All days. Okay. Okay, perfect. In my department, uh, we don't usually receive business guests. Okay, you don't you don't receive any 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 business guests. Uh, muy poco. Okay, only a few, only a few. Only a few. Okay. Okay, perfect. What about the rest of the class? Just tell me. I need uh, you to interact with me and with the rest of the class. Okay, go ahead. In my case, the busy the bus visits as to verify or work. Okay. Let me do something else. Okay, before uh, you answer question number two, let me see what we're gonna do. Okay, I would like to hear, uh, let me see. If you already participate, just tell me, I, I did. Okay, let me see. Uh, what about uh, Paola? Are you there, Paola? No? Cecilia, what do you think? You already participate? Yes, no? Yes, teacher, pero me que no me agarraba el micrófono, perdón. Oh. I like to receive them because I get away from the computer for a moment. Oh, okay. Okay, the second question I'm going to ask directly to someone, but before let me show it. Do you enjoy welcoming guests and why? Do you enjoy welcoming guests and why? Who wants to answer this question? Or maybe you don't like to welcome in uh, guests. Don Jose Ernesto Aleman is, is there. Welcome, sir. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, what about the, the second question, uh, Hector? Can, what can you tell me about? Mm, yes, I like to receive guests because we talk in any, any topic. Okay. What about Sergio? Uh, um, the second question I like it. Uh, we know uh, we know new technologies to work. Okay. What about let me see. Roxana Alvarez, what about you? Yes, teacher. Yes, I like to. Okay. Don't forget the question. Don't forget the question. Why? Why? You need to tell me the reason. Do you enjoy welcoming guests and why? Teacher, I don't like receive guests because I feel the pressure. <laughs> oh, okay, you got nervous, you got nervous. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. 
Okay. Someone else? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. In my case, I like uh, receive guests because I meet other people and I learn. Ah, okay, perfect. Me, teacher. Okay, tell me. In my world, in receive guests, in, it is important for them to know our equipment and our service. Uh, okay, talking about equipment, right? Okay, thank you. Me, teacher. Ah, don Jonathan, a pesar de estar de oyente, okay, I like that. I like, I like receipt business guests because um, they, are, they bring new ideas for work. Uh, new ideas to do your work in an easy way. Okay. Oh, okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, I'll don't mention it. Okay, don't forget in Espanol, no se les olvide. Que para poder aumentar sus habilidades referentes al idioma, tenemos que practicar. Tenemos que practicar. El oír es bueno, sí. Pero también debo de producir sonidos. Y de eso se trata. Su fluidez la va a alcanzar de acuerdo a la práctica. Y todos tienen los mismos, las mismas oportunidades de poder hacerlo. Ahí está. Si usted no las toma, eso ya es muy personal. Aquí es de tomar la iniciativa y a participar. Como dije en las anteriores, generalmente los que tienen la palabra oyente, yo no les llamo porque... Se supone que están ocupaditos en algo más, así es que, pero cuando ustedes tengan el espacio, así como don Jonathan, abra el micrófono y va participando, por favor. De eso se trata. La oportunidad es para todos. Ok. Ok, let us continue, Dennis. Okay, I'm going to share uh, a link with you. And you are going to resolve the following exercise. Okay, voy a compartir un link con ustedes. Ustedes van a entrar al link y van a resolver el ejercicio. Okay, ahí está. Double click on it and you are going to open it. If you don't understand interaction, just let me know, please. Quien no comprenda las instrucciones, me va avisando, por favor.
Okay, let's do it now, please. Todos pudieron entrar. Yes, teacher. Okay. I am going to be here, yes, in case you want to ask something. Okay, let me know as soon as you finish, please. Finish the exercise, teacher. Okay, thank you. Finish, teacher. Okay. Okay, raise your hand if you already finished. And in, in, in that way I'm going to be sure that all of you finish. Okay, and leave it there. Y la dejan ahí, por favor. Cuando ya estén todos, continuamos. Ok, tengo a Jonathan, eh, Gabriela. Let me see, someone Okay, I'm still waiting. Okay, what about the rest? I'm here just waiting.
I got four. Need four. Okay, I consider the time is enough. I'm going to show you the answers. Okay, you got it there. Who wants to read the third one? Who wants to read the first question? Me, teacher, uh, what do you like to do in your free time? Okay, what do you like to do in your free time? Okay. Alguien tiene problemas para comprender el, el mensaje de la pregunta? No, teacher. No? No, teacher. No, oh. teacher. Okay. Second, who wants to read it? Can lee la segunda? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. <laughs> okay. Ladies first. Okay, ladies first. Okay. Thank you. What time do you... What time do you have dinner? Okay, what time do you have dinner? ¿Qué, ¿Qué nos dice? ¿Qué significa? ¿A qué tiempo tú tomas la cena o tú tienes la cena? Veamos ese relojito. Cambiémosle una palabra. ¿A qué hora? Ah, ok, ok. Ok, perfecto. Ok, thank you. Next question. Why? Why does she cook for? Is why or se pronuncia de otra forma? Who? Who teacher? Who does? Who who does... does... For? Ah, okay. Who does? Who does? She cook for. Meaning she in Spanish? Or... Meaning in Spanish? Meaning in Spanish. ¿Para quién está cocinando? Hola. ¿Para quién es está cocinando o para quién está cocinando ella? Ah, okay, ahí está la idea. Okay, next. Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, when do you go to bed at night? Okay. When do you go to bed at night? 
Uh, so now we see the word when we are talking about time, right? Okay. When? Next. Siguiente, por favor. Sure. Where do you sleep? Ah, okay. Where do you sleep? It's a good question. Next one. Mr. Chair. Okay. How do you like eggs for break breakfast? How do you like eggs for breakfast? Ah, okay, perfect. And the last one. Me teacher, okay. how, how often do you visit your <laughs> grandparents? Okay, how often do you visit your grandparents? Meaning in Spanish, about this one, the last one? Uh, ¿Con qué frecuencia visitas a tus abuelos? Ah, okay, perfect. Okay. Any any question so far from here? No? For me, no, teacher, I don't have a question. What about the rest? No question, teacher. No question, teacher. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing. Por ahí estaba Gaby con su mano arriba todavía. I don't know. <laughs> Something happened there, Gaby. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay, let us continue with the next activity. It is a conversation. And I hope that all of you participate in this activity. Teacher, disculpe, fíjese que no escucho nada y tengo problemas con el internet porque está lloviendo súper fuerte, pero le aviso por, por si no participo porque no estoy escuchando nada. Oh, ok, what, what about the rest? ¿Los demás sí me están oyendo o no? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, okay. yes perfect. Oh, yes, teacher. Problema. Yes, teacher. Problemas de Igualmente aquí cae una gran tormenta, por eso casi no escucho. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry to hear that. Okay, listen to your teacher with the conversation, then practice with a pattern. Miss Tay arrived to a restaurant, she will train the personal. Mr. John, Mr. Han, I'm sorry. The owner welcome because it's Chinese. Welcome her. Okay, listen. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Hum? Yes, I am. Yes, Miss State. And the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. Miss Take. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario, he's the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am in share of kitchen staff. Great. Ah, Mr. Hong. What does the girl over there do? She's nice. She's in share of purchases. Okay, you got it there? Any questions so far from here? Introduce, introduce, Janet, introduce. Introduce Nazam. Okay. 
forma de... Teacher. Hello. ¿Qué es that trainer? Excuse me? How do you say that trainer? A trainer. 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 ¿Un dispaño, teacher? Ese es el, eh, la persona que capacita a los demás. Branch, branch. Branch. In this name, you can hit it in this way. Nisa, yeah, because it's a it's a proper name. You can say it that way too. It's gonna to be better for you. Okay, I'm going to read again. Hello, good morning. Are you Mrs. Hun? Yes, I am. And Miss Kate, and the trainer. Nice to meet you. Uh, hello, nice to meet you, Miss Kate. Let me introduce you, staff. This is Mario, he's, he's the branch manager, and this is Leo, welcome, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario, nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you, I'm in chair of kitchen staff, Ray. Uh, Mr. Hun, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in share of food chases. Okay, questions. Questions. Teacher, what is the meaning of what does the girl over there do? Ah, okay. ¿Qué hace aquella chica que está allá? Mm. Eso significa, what does the girl over there do? ¿Qué hace aquella chica que está allá? Ok, la palabra over. Eh, over there. Significado... Este es over there. Over there. Yeah. Over there es allá. Ah, ok. Para referirse a un lugar que está retirado. Por ejemplo, en una oficina grande. Y tú señalas a alguien. Over there. Over there. Mm, ok, ok. Thanks. Ok. And we have another question previous. To that one too. What, what do you do? What do you do? Uh, in, say. In shut up. In shut up. Encargada de. Say nice meeting you. Este, what is the meaning in Spanish? Nice to meet you. Okay. What? 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 Nice uh, meeting you. Nice. Nice meeting you. Es como mucho gusto en conocerte. Eso es igual a nice to meet you. Es que como lleva el, el ING. Ya. Yeah. It is the same meaning. Nice meeting you. Ok. The meaning is the same. Okay, another question. Pregunten por favor ahorita y no después. The last word is purchases. Purchases. Purchase. Sí, porque es plural. Purchase es singular. Purchases es plural. Son compras.
Okay, that's it. Okay, let us practice then. Ah, okay, take a screenshot, please. Haz una captura, por favor. It's gonna be better in this way. Purchases, purchases. Okay, let us practice. Okay, recién voy llegando, dice alguien acá. Okay. Chen, okay, I need to be a chen different. Here we go. Let us practice now.
My phone is not working. Okay, I guess all of you uh, had the, the opportunity to practice with your partner. So let us see what you can do now. This, who wants to be the power? Uh, me, teacher, with Roxana. Okay, Carlos. Okay. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Hall? Yes, I am. I am Miss Seth. I the training. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss State. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager and this is Leo. Welcome, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Uh, Mr. Hong, what does the girl over there do? Yes, Nissan. Yes, in charge of purchase. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you. If you want, you can use your own information. It's going to be better. Then you can use the name of some of huh? me too. Okay, yeah. next please. Next please. Me teacher. Okay, Edwin. With my partner, Hector. Okay, okay. Hello. 
Good morning. Are you Mr. Edwin? Yes, I am. I am Mr. Hector. I am the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you. Uh, Mr. Hector, let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Great. Come, oh, Mr. Edwin. What does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in charge of purchases. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Candy, are you ready? Hello. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Perdón. <laughs> okay. Hello. Good morning. Are you Mr. Hong? Yes, I am. I miss stay in the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Stay. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Mario, nice to meet you. Leo, what do you do? Nice to meet you. I in share of the kitchen stuff. Great. Mm, Mr. John, what does the your other there, there do? She's Nisa. She's a share of purchases. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Me teacher with my partner, Don Jose Aleman. Okay, go ahead. Hello, listo. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. John? Yes, I am. I am Tay, I am the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tay. Uh, let me introduce introduce the staff. This is Mario. He is the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I am char of the kitchen staff. Great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the gear over there do? Chess, Misa, chess in the char or the poor chesses. Thank you. Okay. Maria. Next. Hey, teacher. Okay, Sergio. With Paola. Okay. You first. Okay. Hello, good morning. Are you Miss Lucio? Yes, I am. I'm Miss Tate. I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. He's the branch manager, and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What do you do? Nice to meet you. I'm, I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. Great, right, uh, Mr. Hong. What does the girl over there do? She is Nisa. She is in charge of porches. Okay, thank you.
Okay, that's it. Somebody else? Okay, Janet. I am here. Hello, good morning. How do you Cecilia? Yes, I am. Hi. This day. I am Tyler. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you. Miss Janet. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario. This is the branch manager and this is Leo. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. What did you do? Nice to meet you. I am in charge of the kitchen staff. Well, Miss, Miss Cecilia, what does the girl order me do? She's Misa. She's in charge of the purchase. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Okay, someone else wants to do it? No? Or maybe somebody have a question related with the conversation. Just let me know, please. No questions? No? What about the rest of the students? Okay, let us continue then if you don't want to practice. I'm going to move because of the time. Okay, pay work, complete the question, then write the answer. Okay. Okay, take a screenshot, please. Haga una captura, por favor. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and you are going to work together.
गावी 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 मत पतन गावी गावी Teacher, yo estaba solo. Sí, le envía a alguien ahí, pero eso estoy observando que hasta este momento llegó. Ya está ahí la persona, pero ya usted no. Mm -hmm. I send you someone. Uno quizás por problemas de conexión les es difícil. O no sé. The reason part. Hello, Gabi. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I know that some of you got problem in order to connect to the breakout room. I don't know why, but uh, that usually happen with some of you. And we need to look for the best way to resolve this problem because if somebody is there in the breakout room waiting for your partner, it's quite difficult. My goodness. 
menos. Ok, algunos estaban solos, traté de ir moviendo a uno a uno, pero no todos responden con la rapidez necesaria. Así es que las disculpas y a tratar de conectarse cuando esto suceda. Ok, who wants to read question number one? Volunteer, please. What does Mario do, teacher? Okay, what does Mario do? Yes. And what is the answer? Maybe he's the branch manager. Oh, he is the branch manager. Okay, number two. What do you do, Leo? Listen, listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. What do you do, Leo? What do you do, Leo? Oh, okay, the answer is. Maybe... He's in charge of the kitchen stuff. Okay, he's in charge of, okay. And number three. What does Misa do? What does Misa do? And the answer is. She is the sharp of pushes. Okay, she's in charge of pushes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Teacher, Hello. la respuesta sería is, is o does. Talking about Nisa? Porque um, Nisa, she, digamos, la respuesta fue she is. She is. Pero okay. podría ser también she does. She does in share of her she is. No. She is. Ella no. es. Ok. Ella es. She is. Ella es la encargada de. Ella está de encargada de. Ok. Y para preguntar si sí, hacemos uso del DAS. Porque es tercera persona. Ok, right now let us talk about the present simple tense. Ok, you already know this. Ustedes ya saben esto, pero vamos a hacer un review. ¿Para qué nos va a servir? Okay, I'm going to explain why. Okay, this for uh, different personal pronoun, I'm going to use it uh, in the following way. I like cheese, we don't like cheese, you don't lie, they don't lie. And this is negative and this is positive. Take care of, the, of it, please. And these are the third singular person. Estos son los pronombres personales singulares. Y decimos, he lies, she is. As you can see, we got an inflection here because this one. Aquí el verbo hace un cambio porque está siendo usado con tercera persona del singular. He lies, she is, or it lies, she is. Y si fuese negativo, he doesn't lie. She doesn't like cheese or it doesn't like cheese. Okay, before I move to the next slide, if you have a question, let me know, please. Antes de que me mueva la siguiente diapositiva, por favor, si hay preguntas, vamos aclarando de uno. Now questions. No? no question. No question, teacher. Okay, now this is a, a kind of review of what I'm doing here. These four personal pronouns, estos cuatro pronombres personales, vamos a usarlos con do. Do I like she's? Do you like she's? Do we like she's? Or do they like she's? But what about this one? Pero que hay acerca de estos tres? 
Aquí voy a usar Does he like shoes? Does she like shoes? And does it like shoes? Okay, what, what is the difference between do and does? Dígame. What is the difference entre usar do y usar does? Why? Chao. Primera, primera persona, teacher, el he, she, it, tercera persona. Ok. And what about this? It is for third person. Third singular person, ok. And also right here you got the way that you can give an answer. Yes. I do, yes, we do, yes, they do. This is positive, you know? What about negative? No, I don't, no, we don't, no, you don't. And when we talk about their singular person, yeah, does, does he like cheese? Yes, he does. Yes, she does. Yes, it does. And in negative, no, he doesn't. No, she uh, doesn't. Or no, it doesn't. It's only just to give an answer in the form. Okay, questions. Questions? No questions? For me, no, teacher. What about the rest of the class? No, no questions. No, teacher. No, teacher. No question, teacher. Bueno, creo que sale más fácil si alguien tuviera una duda que levantara su mano y me dice, mire, teacher, yo esa parte no la comprendo. Explíqueme otra vez. And I can give you an extra explanation later with that. Pero si yo pregunto y usted no me dice, sería injusto que al finalizar la clase usted diga, no explico. ¿Por qué? Porque usted me, no, no me dijo nada. Me comprende. Si usted me consulta, yo con gusto le voy a responder. Pero si usted no me da consulta, entonces parto de que el silencio es porque sí comprendió. Ok, let us continue talking about uh, present simple. We use the present simple to talk about things we do all the time. Usamos el presente simple para hablar acerca de las cosas que hacemos a todas horas. For example, I get the service bus at seven every morning. Ali uh, brushes his teeth before he goes to bed. Ojo con esta oración. I play football at break time and my sister goes selling at the weekend. Okay, tell me something about these examples. Okay, yes, read it and ask me a question if you don't got something there, please. Leamos y consultemos si tenemos dudas. Okay. Eh, Sergio. What means sailing? The meaning of the word? And the last sentence? My sister goes sailing at the weekend. Sailing, sailing, sailing. Yeah, this is a, this is a, this is a bear. 
this is an action that you uh, do in the ocean. I'm giving you some tip in order that you can understand the meaning of, of, of that. Okay. What is that? No, no. When you go to the the ocean, when you go to the ocean and you arrive to a boat or something like that, it's, it's sailing, you know? Cuando usted va al océano, y usted aborda un bote, un yate, you know? That is sail. Navegar. Okay, could be. Could be one minute. Okay. That is sailing. Okay, continue. Teacher, el presente es simple. Present simple es cuando terminan en ing. No. No. no, 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 no. Present simple is when we talk about the present. Lo que se hace en el momento. El presente simple lo usamos para hablar de cosas que hacemos a, a cualquier hora. Por uh -huh. ejemplo, alguien dice, I get the service pass at seven every morning. Ali brushes his teeth before he goes to bed. Ali se cepilla sus dientes antes de irse a la cama. Eso de que dice que Ali, Ali se cepilla, ese es presente simple. ¿Sí? Que yo juego fútbol, ese es presente simple. Que mi hermana eh, navega, pasea en el océano el fin de semana, eso es presente simple. No presente sí. progresivo, que es lo que usted me está mencionando. Me entró la duda porque entendí, la dice la última oración, my sister goes, entonces la palabra que quiere decir navegar. Sí, pero ahí. esta palabra aquí no está significando algo progresivo. Ajá, ahí el verbo principal sería, que está antes. Sí, sería goes, yes. va. Goes. Ok. Y está con uh, es porque se refiere a una tercera persona. Ajá, ajá. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Welcome. Good evening. Got the dog, teacher. Okay. Tell me, Jonathan. It's raining, teacher. Ah, uh, it's raining. It's raining in your area. Hello. No me está oyendo, quizá, para no. Okay, let us continue. We use the present simple to talk about things that are always true. Okay, this sky is blue. It's something that is true. The air goes round the sun. It is true too. And somebody say, I am a student. Shad is uh, on the Asian side of Istanbul, talking about a uh, place. Tiger are big cats. And also, school start at 8 or 5 after 8 a.m. and finishes at 3.30 p.m. Usamos el presente simple para hablar de cosas que son siempre ciertas. See, it's like if you say El Salvador is in Central America. Es algo que no podemos cambiar, sino que ya está dado de esa manera. And also, we need to remember the following rules. Bears ending in CH, S, SH, or X at ES. At the moment that you are going to use it with a singular person, right? Watch, watches, guess, guesses, finish, finishes. Got gas fixes and we're ending in a consonant 
like B, C, D, F, G, Chen Y, two, I, E, S, study, studies, very, very, fly, flies. If you want, you can take a screenshot and notice that you can keep this information with you. Si usted considera, puede uh, hacer una captura para que se quede con esos datos. Por favor. That is the present symbol. Thanks. Okay, let us take a look at this and you are going to identify the mistakes that are right here. Okay, the first one is going to be, okay, let me see, Roxana, I sure. Uh, Roxana, encuéntreme si hay error ahí o no. Eh, Don Jose Ernesto, la segunda. Sería, does teacher, does he like? Ah, okay. Léame la completa, por favor. Read, read completely. Okay. Does he likes basketball? Ah, okay. ¿Por qué no do? Why not? He es tercera persona, teacher. Ah, okay. The reason is that. Eh, likes, como ya se usa para tercera persona, no sé si se le pone la S también, ¿verdad? A likes. Solo likes sería. Not only, only as if you are going to have an auxiliary at the beginning. Si usted va a tener un auxiliar al inicio, ya no necesita cambiar nada. Ah, okay. ah pues solo sería, does he like basketball? Ok, siguiente, mencioné a alguien. Dice. ¿Sabe? Está en Aiden, solo sería, it's, it's. I like its pizza. So teacher. Where, where is the mistake there? Or oh, it doesn't have any mistakes. Donde esta el, el error o no tiene? Diga. Aiden es el error. Which one? Ese es el error, si sí tiene error. ¿Cuál es? Aiden. Are you sure? Solo sería it's. Sería eh, plural. Like it. Solo sería like. I like a. I like h. I like it's pizza. Uh -huh. Ok, I'm going to... Solamente sería I like it pizza. No eating. No eating. Ah, ok. Le estoy dando a, 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 a giving you the opportunity to 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 eating pizza. Ok. Someone else wants to tell in What is the mistake? I do like it pizza, teacher. But that is negative. I don't like. Sí, pero ahí usted me está agregando. Yo quiero que me diga dónde está el error en la oración. We add. It's not We very person. I like eating pizza. But what is the, the mistake? Yes. Explain me, please. Explain me. It's not very person, teacher. Okay, only one. Okay, Sergio, explain me, please. Uh, the mistake in uh, the per life. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, Tell me the, the reason. The correct is like for. For person, I like eating pizza. Ah, okay, without S. Yes. Sin la S, la palabra like. ¿Por qué sin la S? Uh, this person, this person, 
Uh, because we are not talking about uh, third singular person, okay? Thank you. Let me see somebody else. I'm going to look for someone here. Uh, let me see Esmeralda. What about you? Tell me the next sentence, the third one. Do we okay. have a place there or not? Uh, yes, do. Uh, Seria, she does her homework on the service bus. Oh, okay, she does. Yes, okay. because it's a third person. Okay, thank you. Roxana Alvarez. La siguiente, the next one, please. Are you there, Roxana? No? Se me voló, no está. Let me teach her. Ah, okay. No le escuché. Number four, number four. Uh, the field. A uh, mistake is in the verb finish. La última S, teacher, creería que no va. Number four. Sí, the field finish at eight. Okay, where is the mistake? ¿Dónde está el error? Y tiene que haber error o puede ser que no haya tampoco. Ah, ok, podría ser. Usted me puede decir. No, no, yo no le encuentro. No, no tiene. Tengo, tengo dudas en el verbo. Finish. La última S. Ah, ok. No sé si estoy en lo correcto. Sí, he encontrado, he identificado. Veamos, Héctor, ¿qué le dice? Eh, the verb finishes. Um, ah. Yes. Ok, de acuerdo. Sí, porque estoy hablando del field. Ok. Siguiente, my friend. Ok, hold on. Let me look for someone who is going to give me a hand with it. Veamos a alguien que me va a dar esto. Eh, veamos. Mercedes, a ver si ya está ready. Eh, o quién, Yesenia, o quienes no están de oyentes, posiblemente ya se desocuparon, o Edwin, ok, si no está ninguno de ellos, podemos continuar, alguien más, por favor. My friend goes on holiday next week. Okay. There is a mistake or not? Edwin, Edwin, Edwin. For me, teacher, there are no, no mistake. Okay. Let us see what someone else thinks about. Because my friends, Gus, is correct on holiday next week. Ah, oh, okay. You say it's correct, but let us see what what someone else said. Veamos qué dice alguien más. Estará en singular, my friend, mi amigo, my friend. Okay, but I need that you identify the mistake. ¿Cuál es el error ahí? Teacher, I think, I, I'm not sure, but uh, for me, my friends go on holiday next week. Ah, okay. My friend. Uh, yes, my, igual my, es. My friend go. Ahí está. No gas. Okay, siguiente. Teacher, eh, bueno, no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Pero la Y se pasaría a I latina con okay. ES. Okay. Sería she's curious. She carries her sister in the barn. Okay, next. Nicole Kidman. Do we have me stay there or not? Tell me. 
Tenemos error o no tenemos error. Teacher, ¿será films? ¿Será singular, no plural? Mm, it is singular. My friends are going on vacation next week. My friends are going on vacation next week. Teacher, I think uh, no have mistake. There's no mistake there? No, but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, you need to be sure. You need to be sure. Nicole Kidman acts in a lot of films. For me, teacher, Nicole Kidman acts with, with S okay, perfect. in a lot of films. Okay, because is, this is a third singular person. Nicole Kidman sería él, actúa, entonces el verbo va a tener inflections. Aquí va a llevar una S, acts in a lot of films. Yes. Okay, next one. We place in the garden at break. We play. Okay, we play. We play in the garden at break. Okay. Without S. Without S, okay, without S. And the last one? What about the last one? Our teacher talk, talks, oh, okay. talks very clear, our, our clearly. Teacher, our teacher talks very clearly, okay? Okay, that's it, thank you. Okay, let me see the time that we have now. Okay, we need to pay, uh, to prepare role play a two minute conversation introducing your, introducing yourself and a staff to someone else at a business event, example, seminar, training or proper presentation. And you are going to take your asking and answering question like the ones in the model conversation. You can do that, please. But hold on there, hold on there. Because we have something uh, at the beginning. Teníamos algo ahí al inicio. Voy a reforzar esto así en forma rapidita. Based on the topic that we have. Basado en el topic. Quiero clarificar lo siguiente. This, in this case, we are talking about the simple present, but using information question. El presente simple con preguntas de información. Veamos cómo se relaciona. We have what? Ok, we use what to ask about since. Usamos what para hablar de cosas. Ejemplo, what do you need? I need a suit. What do you need? And next example, so what does his sister do? She's a teacher. What do you need? ¿Qué estamos preguntando aquí? ¿El qué necesita, teacher? What does his sister do? Oh. And, and the answer, she's a teacher. Es como preguntarle qué es lo que ella hace, pero según ahí se basa en una pro profesión, teacher. Ah, ok. ¿Qué hace su hermana? O la hermana. Yes. Él. 
Ella es una maestra. Ahí está. Estamos usando el task porque estamos hablando de su hermano. Estamos. Ok, let us see where. We use uh, where to ask about places. Where do you live? Aquí hay un mistake. It is no, it's not what is where. I live in Lima. Where does she work? Donde trabaja ella? She works at Movistar. Ella trabaja en Movistar. Y ve aquí el inflection. She works. En cambio aquí no. Porque ya está el das. Where does she work? Aquí no tiene la S. Pero aquí se la tiene. Pregunte, por favor. We have uh, when. We use when to ask about time. As soon as you see when, that you need to know that uh, the someone is talking about time. When do you visit your son? ¿Qué dice ahí en esa pregunta? Cuando visitas a tu hijo. Cuando visitas a tu hijo. When do you visit your son? He dice, I visit my son in... And you can switch the, the months of the year. Puede cambiar el mes del año. When do you work? And the answer, I work in the morning. Todas esas son preguntas de información. Son preguntas de información. Teacher. Hola. Uh, the second question. Uh... Podría contestarse también, I work every day. When do you work? I work every day. When do you work? Yeah, you can say in that too, because you are talking about frequency. Al menos si la pregunta fuese más directa, how often do you work? I work every day. Okay. Okay, what about who? We use who to ask about people. Vamos a usar a who para preguntar acerca de personas. Who do you live with? ¿Con quién vive usted? I live with my family. Y la otra dice, who likes fat music? ¿A quién le gusta? Ese quién va a hacer y lo va a hacer ella. Por eso tiene la inflexión de likes. Who likes fat music? And the answer is Roberto Dix. Okay, what about who? My mother visited my aunt. This is the subject and this is the object. Aquí tenemos el sujeto y tenemos el objeto. Okay, who visits, who visits your aunt? My mother does. Quien visita a su tía, mi mamá lo hace. Eso sería en el caso sujeto y en el objeto, who does your mother? Visit, who does your mother visit? ¿A quién visita su mamá? Who does your mother visit? Y la respuesta sería ya, my aunt. My mother visit my aunt. Ahí está la forma de respuesta. Pregunte, por favor. Si vamos volando, ¿qué pasa? Ok, check a look at this example. Miremos este ejemplo, por favor. They say, write two questions with who. One about the subject and one about the object. Tengo dos. For example, talking about Nathan Nathaniel, who loves Beethoven. Okay, 
en idea la oración completa, como dice, Nathaniel loves Beethoven. Beethoven sería el objeto, who does Nathaniel love Beethoven? Okay, ahí está pidiendo right to question with who. One about the subject and another about the object. Hello? Sí. Eh, en la anterior, bueno, creo que en esta también. Eh, no sé, eh, solo es la respuesta Nathaniel o es Nathaniel does. Okay, talking about this one? Yes, sir. Okay, the, the question says, who loves the, the Nathaniel? Uh, only Nathaniel. Nathaniel, we can say Nathaniel does. Does. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. okay. And who doesn't? Uh, Nathaniel love the comment, but, but we can say this way, this way too. But the most common way uh, is that. Okay, next one. Let me see the time. Veamos el tiempo que tenemos. Okay, nos pide que escribamos dos oraciones, una acerca del sujeto y otra acerca del objeto. Elliot, Elliot, where's uh, for Mr. King? Who were for Mr. King? ¿Quién trabaja para Mr. King? Elliot. Veamos ahora en caso objeto. Dice, who does Elliot work for? Para quien trabaja Elliot. And the answer, Mr. King. Ahí las respuestas son precisas, concisas. Y la última, how often. We use how often to ask about frequency. Lo vamos a usar para a, hablar de frecuencia. How often do you visit your dad? ¿Con qué frecuencia visita usted a su papá? And the answer, I visit my dad twice a week. Dos veces a la semana. How often does she call her son? ¿Con qué frecuencia le habla a su hijo? She call her son every weekend. Y ve acá, lleva una inflexión. Okay, I guess I'm going to stop sharing. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. No sé si hay alguna consulta, pregunta hasta acá. Me van diciendo en lo que voy revisando la asistencia. Antes de que se me olvide saber cómo van en la plataforma. Ok, uh, América Elizabeth. ¿Apareció o no apareció? No. Carlos Amílcar. Present teacher. Okay, eh, Cecilia Maribel. Present. Edwin Alexis Pérez. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay. Esmeralda. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Gabriela Jamlet. Present teacher. Okay, is there. Gisela. Gisela. Not here. Hector Enrique. Present teacher. Ingrid 
देंगे जोनतन प्रेजेंट टीचर आई एम सॉरी ओके डोंट ओके डोंट सेव मोस्टो प्रेजेंट टीचर ओके थैंक यू कैथरीन पावला पावला गुड नाइट टीचर ओके गुड नाइट Natalie Sanchez. Present teacher. Mauricio Antonio. Present. Mercedes Alejandra. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Roxana Alvarez. Okay, present teacher. Okay, Roxana Elizabeth. Roxana Elizabeth. Sara Alejandra. Present teacher. Okay. Sergio Adolfo. Present teacher. Okay. Janet del Carmen. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Okay, thank you to all of you. Don't forget to work in the platform, please. No se les olvide hacer sus tareas en la plataforma, por favor. Thank you, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night and take care. See you tomorrow, teacher. Have a good night. Bye-bye. See you bye -bye. Yo, tomorrow. Good night to all. Good night, see you tomorrow. Hi. Okay, good night.